Hello everyone, I've got a video showing my new notifier address of a call point that came in the post the other day. Here it is. I'm going to say no more and I shall open it up now. So as you can see, basically, this is just a KIC call point, just with its shell, just with a different shell. Well, not even a different shell, just a different electronics module. I'll just grab my other KAC call point. Also, these KAC call points, this, you won't believe it, but all that, this is made by Honeywell KAC call points. They are made by Honeywell. Along with, this is made by Honeywell. I'll fetch them on screen in a minute to show you the difference. This did have a glass element. But that got broke during transit, so I had to discard of that safely. Right, here we are with the core point itself. As you can see, it looks... You won't be able to tell if you didn't know what they were. This is basically just my, my conventional KC core point and my addressable notifier. As you can see, on the back, what it says is... Notifier by Honeywell. It's the same. See? They're the same. In a minute, I'll take the electronics modules out. I'll pause the video and do that now. So you can see what if they look like as a difference. See? They're just the same shells. These are the modules now. This is the conventional, as you can see. It's the addressable. On the back, we have our rotary switches. Now, then, this little LED there that slots into the little hole on the addressable notifier on there as you can see they are you would not be able to tell if they were just like that on a picture far away zoomed out you would not be able to tell looking at them like that not at all tell the difference just like that you want to move it up one has a hole one doesn't the hole looks like it's been drilled so they'd probably be came off the same line as this so the conventional will be sent off to one side addressable sent off for another and the sheet then it'll get drilled in there for the LED so as you can see these modules, they just mass produce the casing and that, and they just put them together that way. Along with that, it's it came with a glass element that says Notifier by Honeywell in there, which I don't know what what that looks like. Well, I do, but it was broke, so, yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, what else it came with is, like, two, two screws. These are just the same as the screws that are... For mounting these on the back box, which this one has. Here's the back box for it. As you can see. So that, this core point, will go on the back. So I shall pause the video and come back to it when it looks like with it mounted on. See, this is what it looks like screwed on. It's very flush and neat, just, just as the conventional one does. The only difference is the LED. That's all you'll be able to tell. Right, I now want to get on to how the address works on the back. These are little rotary switches. How to think of it is... On here... This goes up to numbers 15. Around that way. So this basically is like... 1 is 10. 2 is 20. 30 is 3. 40, you know, you get the idea. And down here, this is basically like you're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of each number. So, how it will work basically is if it's if you want it addressed 52, this is an example, turn this to the 5, it's in the 5 there, and then here, we'll turn this to. Terminal 2. 1, 2. That's now addressed 52. Then you program it right at the panel. Oh, here is the 
extractable plug and play terminal. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I shall do some more videos of what's to come.